Nine and five. Thirty-six, eighteen, two. Which adds up to... Far too much. Holy! You called, Jeff? No, Marty, I didn't. Since you're here, you may as well take a look at those books. Why, are they bad? Bad. Worst month since we went into business. Where are you going? Out. Alone. Yes, that's my name. Mr. Joshua Kraken would like a word with you. Would he? He's waiting. Well, for my money, he can go on waiting. Mr. Kraken is not a man accustomed to being kept waiting. Well, why does he want to see me? It's an opportunity to earn money, Mr. Randall. Quite a lot of money. Well, you're talking to the right man. Where is your friend Kraken? Mr. Joshua Kraken is my employer, sir. Not my friend. He's over there. Mr. Kraken? Is it him? It is, sir. All right, I'll take you do. Uh, Fifty pounds if you deliver this envelope to my nephew, Mr. John Kraken. And? Just deliver it, that's all. And it contains something to his advantage. Will you do it? For fifty pounds? For fifty pounds. You've talked me into it. Excellent. My address is on the envelope. Come for your fee when you've completed your task. Good night, Mr. Randall. Uh, just a minute. This John Kraken. Where do I find him? Well, I haven't an idea, Mr. Rento. My nephew escaped from prison six weeks ago. He's on the run. You've not been very helpful. I've got a busy day in front of me. Look, I'm not stupid. I know the sort of trouble I'd buy if I shot Johnny. I want to keep my nose clean. Sure. So all that's left is the favour. Look, Randall, you're making a lot of noise. I can't hear the radio. Nine to two. Bunker. Same price. Nine to two. I would have thought any job would be welcome at a time like this. The point is, I've been asked to trace a an escaped convict. So? 
So if the police get to know and think I found him without telling them, I'll be out of business before you can say Bow Street Runner. Yes, but if you turn down the 50 pounds and you don't get that... Then I'll still go out of business. Yeah. I suppose on balance you don't have much of a choice, really. <clears throat> Randall and Hopkirk. Randall. Speaking. You were looking for Johnny Kraken. That's right. Go to the Deptford Warehouse, Southern Docks. Ask Harry Dawson about him. I'm looking for Dawson. Harry Dawson. Go on. Are you Dawson? If I were, what would you want with me? Well, if you were... I'd want you to deliver a message to Johnny Kraken. I wouldn't know how. I've heard different. His uncle, Joshua Kraken, wants to contact him. Mm -hmm. Something to his advantage, as they say. Okay, mister, I'll take your message. How do I know it'll get to Johnny Crackman? It already has. 40, 45, 50. Thank you, Mr. Randall. Thank you. As it works out, it's the easiest 50 I've earned in a very long time. Mr. Joshua Kraken is a very generous employer. You can say that again. Well, now we can get back and pay some bills. Just a moment, Mr. Randall. Did he do it? Uh, yes, sir. Excellent. Come back tomorrow, Mr. Randall. There'll be some more work for you. Not bad. You want me to go? No. Not so many words. Well, what's worrying you, Jeff? Well, I'm worried about this kind of life. It can't go on anymore. Look, Marty, try and understand. I've just finished a job, alone. Working just like it used to be in the old days. Following leads, asking questions, waiting for the break. I found Johnny Crack and by myself, I can still do it. You do want me to go? Don't you, Jeff? No. Not forever. I see. I'm invited for Christmases and birthday parties, am I? Don't be like that, Marty. I have helped, Jeff. I know you have. I've even saved your life. Lots of times. If it wasn't for you, I'd be as dead as you are. But on the other hand, it was you that kept putting me on the spot in the first place. Well, I don't know where I'm going to spend the next hundred years. Oh. You'll think of something. Go for a cruise, see the world. Go for a cruise? Well, yeah, enjoy it. I know you will. Well, you do understand what I'm trying to say. I don't want a ghost haunting me all the time. I want to lead a normal life. Yeah. Yeah, I understand, Jeff. Well, I'll look after Jeannie, I promise you. Goodbye, Jeff. Marty? Marty? Goodbye, Jeff. Marty!
You're quite clear about your duties, Mr. Randall. Yeah. I allow in only those with printed invitations, take every opportunity to patrol the grounds, and make sure we have no unauthorized visitors. Good. Hodder. I still don't know what it's all about. Mr. Kraken sees no reason why you should. Senor Ramon Burgoyesi Kraken. Kraken? Si, Burgoyesi Kraken. Fine. Um, straight up to the house. La casa, arriba. Ah, si, grazie, grazie. De nada. said. You know what we agreed? Do you usually talk to yourself? Keep doing things like that and I might start getting ideas about you. Ah, uh, I was just getting something off my chest. A sort of therapy, eh? Uh, right. Well, we've all got problems. Mine's money. What's yours? Money. So we start off with something in common. Together with millions of others. What's your name? Jeff Randall. Hey. Kraken? That's right. You got a little white card? My invitation. Excuse me. Randall. Uh, Mr. Randall. Take a look on the west boundary, about a hundred yards from the lodge. We have an intruder. Jeff, you're on your own. Crack him! Well, if it isn't our friend with the invitation. Why the back gate? The invitation would have brought you through the front. Straight into what? Some kind of family reunion. Joshua's your uncle, isn't he? Uncle? Never seen him before in my life. Well, you going up the house? I'll take a look around before I make up my mind. Suit yourself, eh? Can I have your invitation? Sir. You know this old guy. You work for him. Is he on the level? Well, he doesn't say much, but he pays well. Good. I'm beginning to get that old family feeling.
he's dead. Well, I suppose someone's got to ask the $64,000 question. Did he fall? Or was he pushed? I'm telling you, Mr. Kraken, I don't like it. I see. What you're trying to tell me is that your professional experience leads you to consider that this might not have been an accident. Grown sober men do not walk out of windows. Even in strange houses? Even in strange houses. Then let's leave it to the coroner to decide between an accident and something more serious. Order, it's time for my turn around the garden. Sir. much like him. But I do like his style. You come for that little chat, then? Well, I'm not exactly weighed down with information, if that's what you're hoping. Well, have you got anything? I have met some of my long-lost relatives. It seems we were flung to the four corners of the earth at the turn of the century. Spread all across the world. That's about it. The Reverend Henry Kraken of Ithaca, New York. Kraken Sung Lee of the expatriate Singapore branch Chinese. And what are you all doing here? We've been invited to a party. A birthday party. Old Joshua hits the 80 mark tomorrow. And you can't say he doesn't look his age. Well, it's all his high living. <laughs> Let's grab a breath of fresh air. Well, I guess which branch of show business you come from. Well, I'll save you the bother. I do the halls, theatres, clubs, speciality acts. Knife throwing, telepathy, magic. You do all that? No, but I assist people who do. And there's me thinking you must be the leading light of the Royal Shakespeare Company. <laughs> Cousin Johnny Kraken. You pulling out? I'll be back for the party. Oh, I didn't put you down for the picnic drive in the country time. <laughs> Only while the cops sniff around about the accident to our continental cousin. Plus, you drive around in his car. It's an ill wind, Randall. See you at the party. you. Sorry, Jeff. It slipped. I don't care about that. I want to know what you're doing here. I thought I made myself quite clear the other day. You're being very pig-headed. Am I? Two people killed in the last couple of days. You ought to get out of it. Well, I plan to. My stent as dog will be finished in a few hours. Then I collect my hundred pounds and that's that. So you want me to go? We've been all through that. You want to break up the partnership? Marty, Look, Marty, you're my best friend. You know that. You always will be. But our partnership was broken the day you got yourself murdered. I'm just trying to face the facts. You're not making it any easier. 
All right, Jeff. All right. That's how you feel. That's what you really want. I do, Marty. I do. All right, Jeff. If that's. Birthday, Joshua. Thank you. Thank you. May you have many more, Mr. Kraken. Soon in Shangri Kwaili. <laughs> yes. I waited a long time to be surrounded by all the surviving members of the Kraken family. Uh, we are not, of course, a very close family, but my advertisement was answered by all of you. We are very touched that you went to all this trouble, Mr. Kraken. Yes, it's not, as you might suppose, a matter of pure sentimentality. It is, as a matter of fact, a condition of the entail on the Kraken estate that the property must pass to a surviving Kraken. Uh, you are here for me to choose. Miss Fay, the Reverend Henry, or Mr. Sung Lee. I just don't believe it. It's a very... Gracious, huh? Nimacha Hollow. Oh, dear. Sir. We'll take coffee in the drawing room. Yes, sir. Sung Lee. And after tonight's revelations, it's pretty clear why. The crack in the state? Sure. Well, providing it's not you, that points the finger pretty heavily at the Reverend Henry. That's hard to buy. I suppose so. What am I going to do, Jeff? Well, I can't make your mind up for you on a thing like this. But if you do go, you risk a two to one chance of inheriting the estate. But if I stay. This is the best thing, eh? If you tell Joshua I'm available whenever he feels like discussing the inheritance. Okay. You gonna be all right here? Why not? You're the only one who knows I'm staying here. Shall I check you in? No, don't worry, I can manage. Good night, Jeff. Thanks. Sure. I was staying here. After the happenings at Kraken Manor, I didn't think you'd be prepared to stay there. So you followed me here? In a manner of speaking. I'm staying here myself. As a matter of fact, I have the room next door. I see. Well, if you don't mind, I've had a hard day. I mean, I'd better get some sleep. Yes, of course. Look, do I have to spell it out? I want you to go. After all, as I understand it, 
we appear to be rivals. We have nothing to talk about. Yes, Mr. Randall, downstairs. Send him right up, now. It's Mr. Randall. It seems I left something in his car. Then perhaps we should have our discussion later, Miss Faye. Outside the door? No! Oh. Well, I've had welcomes, but. Jeff, listen, it's him, I'm certain of it. Him? The Reverend Henry. He was here in this room. What? Claims to be staying in the inn next door, but sinister, I tell you. You interrupted but, him. Now, let's start at the beginning. It's your guess that he's responsible for the deaths. And that I'm the next and the last. Then Kraken Manor must be his. Yeah, like I said before, it's hard to believe. Go and see him. Face him with it. Now, Faye, be reasonable. Well, I am being reasonable. Either I'm the murderer or that phony minister is. Phony? Well, how many real ministers do you know go around murdering their own flock? All right, all right. I'll go and speak to him, but I'm not coming straight out with him. You'll come straight back? Sure. You will come straight back? Promise. <laughs> It's a sad thing about the Reverend Henry. It was you who discovered the body, I understand. To the intense interest of the local CID, yes. Yes, I know. And our um, catalogue of misfortunes doesn't end there, it seems. Miss Fay has disappeared, I understand. Well, are you surprised? No, perhaps not. But I shall need your help again, Mr. Randall. My help? To find her. To tell her that Kraken Manor is hers, if she cares to come back again. Do you think she will, after what's happened? Well, perhaps not, but I think I owe it to her to make the effort. Will you trace her for me? I think you found the recompense satisfactory so far? I don't want the money, Mr. Kraken. But I'll try and find her. To tell her that the estate goes to her. The estate goes to her, Mr. Randall. If he comes back. Yeah, well, thanks anyway. Good heavens. Here, I'll take some of those. Any luck? Oh. No, none at all. 
I phoned all the theatrical agents. No fake racker. No one's heard of her. Oh, she probably uses a stage name. Probably. Uh, what are those, anyway? That's the local press of England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Well, part of it, anyway. Whatever for? Well, the local press covers the local theatre and entertainments. They give you bills, and if you're lucky, a photograph. Oh, I see. So we have to wade through all that lot. Well, there's no other way. Oh, isn't there? I didn't hear anything. Yeah. most amazing feat, my famous Indian scarf trick. Very good indeed, George, very good. You know, if only you had a boy who could climb up it at the end, it'd make a great finale. But thank you very much indeed for coming. It's been wonderful, marvellous. I enjoyed it very much indeed. Thanks a lot. Uh, now, what's next? Oh, Mesmero. Mesmero? Mesmero, wonderful to see you. Thanks for coming. Look, I'll tell you what we want you to do. Just walk the act through for now, eh? Now, get the feel of it. It gives an idea of the length and the timing. We can tighten up as we go. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. We just want to see the actors renew it. What makes you think she started working straight away, anyway? She was broke. Oh, she told you that? We had it in common. Someone must have left that outside door open again. Oh, yeah? It's a freak. Jeff, look. It's on the very top newspaper. Assisted by Faye at the New Hampstead Theatre. What well, could be the one? Well, it's worth a visit. Oh, isn't that amazing? The wind should open just there. Yeah. Amazing. that you just can't fail. Oh, a uh, press? Uh, uh-huh. I'm an old friend of Faye Kraken's. I wonder, could I have a word with her? Faye? Yes, I don't think she's rehearsing again until after lunch. Look, why don't you go along to the dressing rooms? Hmm? Thanks, I will. OK, what's next? What's the matter? What are you doing here? I've come to ask you to go back to Kraken Manor. Well, for someone to slit my throat. If you go back, the estate is yours. A lot of good that would do me, eh? Who sent you? Well, old Joshua asked me to trace you, and I agreed. Why? What's in it for you? Nothing. I just thought you ought to know that the estate is yours for the taking. If I go back there? Right. Oh, look, Jeff, I'm not that much of a fool. Someone is killing for his own purpose, not to get the Kraken inheritance for me. And it figures I'm next on the list. So you won't come back? Well, why should I? I don't trust old Joshua. 
I don't trust Hodder. And I don't trust you. So the answer's no. Absolutely. She doesn't trust anyone here, especially me. And she doesn't plan to risk her life for the crack in the state. If I may observe, sir, that seems a slightly melodramatic way of putting it. After four killings, all of them Krakens, and all within a few days? I meant in view of the fact that Miss Fay loses the manor if she does not return. I never thought of that before. Why should she come back? According to the terms of the entail, she gets the estate after your death anyway. As the only living Kraken. Yes, you're quite right, Mr. Rand. So you wanted her here to... Without malice, Mr. Randall, it was the only way. The only way to ensure that the property came to dear Hodder. Hodder? You don't understand, Mr. Randall. I couldn't possibly let it go to one of these foreigners, or an escaped convict, or a public performer. It had to be someone who knew the house and loved it. I think I'll let the police sort this one out. You're not going, are you, Mr. Randall? You've been so helpful so far. I'll say. Practically an accomplice. But we need one more thing from you. Where can we find Miss Fay? Well, that's where you're going to be unlucky. But we're prepared to persevere with the question. You're wasting your time, Hodder. I won't tell you, and you won't find her. It's not impossible you succeeded. Oh, well, I'm the professional, aren't I? The expert. With an organization. Organization? <laughs> we know your organization, Mr. Randall. One girl in a seedy office in London. Yes, a girl. Good day to you. Good day. Uh, won't you come in? Thank you. Can I help you? Well, yes, possibly, Miss... Um... Hopkirk. Mrs. Hopkirk. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Oh, please. Thank you. Well... Well, I was wondering if you could give me some information. Marty! Marty, where are you? Yeah. No, you're right. No. Why should you come back after what I said to you? Marty, you're back. It's all right, Jeff. It's all right. You don't have to grovel. You can get up. I'm sorry, Marty. Really, I am. What can I say? It's all right, Jeff. I've decided to come back. Thanks, Marty. Thanks a lot. Look, we're wasting time. Hodder and old Joshua. I know, Jeff. I know. I've been around. Well, you know that Hodder's gone to London to see Jeannie to find out where Faye is. Eh? I missed that. Well, somehow, you've got to stop her talking. In the normal course of events, Mr. Randall's business is highly confidential. Jeannie, don't say anything. But, uh, in view of what you tell me, Mr. Hodder, I... Well, I can see no harm in telling you that he has succeeded in tracing Miss Kraken. I'm sure there could be no harm, Mrs. Hopkirk. Well, Faye Kraken opens at the New Hampstead Theatre next week. You made it, then? Yeah, I made it. I made it all right. Too late. 
what do we do now? I'm only human, Jeff. Still now, please. The power, ladies and gentlemen, of thought. The reserves of electrical energy in all of us can be released only in exceptional circumstances. By meditation, cataleptic trance, or deep hypnosis. Now listen, listen carefully, Faye. I want you to concentrate your efforts. Concentrate and rise up. 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 Concentrate, lift, up, good. Now stop. It's incredible. It's fantastic. Take the couch away. Relax, stay, till I return. Well, you like the act? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. But you're not just going to leave her like that, are you? Why not? It's comfortable, restful. Anyway, she's slimming. She wants to miss lunch. But how do you explain it? I, I mean, the state she's in. Hypnosis is merely a level of human prehension. It enables the subject, and Faye, of course, is one in a million, the best subject I've ever had, to rise above uh, pain, gravity, all the normal, natural limitations of life as we know it. Oh, I see. You mean like at seances, that kind of thing? Indeed, yes. Now, uh, lunch? Oh, sure, but uh, well, I'd be a lot happier if... Well, maybe you could just let her down? I'll get the couch. Now concentrate. Concentrate, Faye. Gently down. Okay, let's go. Faye, if what he said was true, you must be able to hear me. Now, Can you hear me? Faye, can you hear me? Listen, somebody's going to try and kill you, but you won't feel a thing, Faye. You won't, I promise you. Listen, Faye, are you all right? Can you hear me, Faye? Faye, you've got to hear me. Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Listen, Faye, this is what I want you to do. Exactly the way I saw it, okay? Fine, fine. Hey, you, uh, you won't forget about Faye, will you? As if I'd do that. Faye? You 
you can hear me. Now I want you to wake up. Wake up. There's nothing wrong, is there? Faye, wake up. Faye, you can hear me, wake up. I don't understand this. She should behave normally. Well, we'll do something. Faye, Faye, listen to me, Faye. Come on, come on. Faye, wake up. Well, what's happening? I don't know, I don't know. It's never happened before. Police. Police? Now, look, Mesmero, what is this? I'm doing the best I can. Police? Send a car to Kraken Manor. Arrest Joshua and Hodder for the murders and release Jeff Randall. What's the matter with you all? With us? You take it, Hodder. Well, Mr. Randall, nobody now remains to prevent Hodder inheriting. You mean you've... No, Jeff. What? Faye's all right. Oh, that's a relief. You're pleased? I'm delighted. You're a very strange man, Mr. Randall. Police? Get me out of here, Hodder. Stay where you are. Well, that's that. Goodbye, Jeff. Marty! Marty! I should never have said it. That's better. Now I know you mean it. Randall and Hopkirk? Hopkirk and Randall. Now, don't get too ambitious, Marty. 